Good morning, everyone. Kyla Gaylor here. We are live at Las Vegas and South Nevada at the Come and Go right near downtown Colorado Springs where police are investigating a suspicious death. They're also investigating a stabbing that happened right up the street, hours apart from this suspicious death. Now earlier you may have saw our posts or maybe our live reports on air talking about how there were two stabbings. Well, police have since retracted that and they're now just calling this a suspicious death because they can't confirm this person died from a stabbing. They can confirm that the victim from Dorchester Park was stabbed. So we'll break down from the beginning because we know it's a little bit complicated. Information has been evolving all morning. So right now you're looking at Las Vegas and Nevada. This is the death investigation. You can see the crime lab out there in front of that house. That is apparently where the victim's body was found by just somebody walking by. Um, that victim, I mean, that person walking by then called for help and when officers got to the area, they found one person dead in the street. It's a man. We don't know too much else about the victim. Um, and so again, police are calling, uh, he, saying that he died from a puncture wound. And that's why at first they said he was a stabbing, but then they retracted that saying they can't confirm it's a stabbing until the coroner rules it was a stabbing. So again, coroner is the only person that can, you know, touch a victim and make sure they are calling the shots when it comes to ruling how someone died. So again, you're looking at Las Vegas and Nevada, a suspicious death investigation where the man died from a puncture wound. You zoom over or pan over to here you can see the crime scene kind of goes pretty far back down towards Leva um, Las Vegas we're standing in the complex at the beginning of the intersection and this whole area has been blocked off for several hours I've seen detectives coming and going it's a very fluid and active crime scene out here there's a lot to figure out they're trying to find witnesses just talk to anybody who knows something Good thing is about this crime scene is there are a lot of surveillance. So if you're familiar with the come and go across the street, we know that almost all gas stations have surveillance these days. Um, it's not clear if this area here has any surveillance, but you know, that could be something that they can check into. So that's the good news about this area. If you ever have driven by this area, you also know that there's a lot of people out and about in the early morning hours. So police said that they're trying to talk to all of those people, but that will take a long time. A lot developing here this morning. So now uh, we'll try to zoom out for you. Sorry, we always have trouble with these Facebook Lives. Okay, so that is the suspicious death at Las Vegas in Nevada. Now, just a few hours before this victim was found dead, police say they got a call about a stabbing at Dorchester Park, which is literally a few blocks up the street, maybe about two minutes away, right off of Las Vegas. And that is where police say they found one man with stab wounds. He was alive and transported to the hospital where he is now in critical condition. So right now the big question is if these two crimes are connected. That's what detectives are trying to figure out as we speak. The only thing that really links them together right now is location and the time that they happened. David Peel asks if they were homeless people. So we had someone ask if the victims were homeless people. I asked police this and they said right now they don't know. We really don't have too much information about the victims right now. Again, the coroner has to conduct their investigation and then once they do that, that's when their names are released and we can learn a little bit more about the victims. Anybody else have any other questions? So just to recap, if you're just joining in, police responded to a stabbing at Dorchester Park around 11 last night. That person is alive in critical condition. Then a few hours later here at Las Vegas and Nevada, right near the come and go, police responded to a suspicious death. That person apparently died from a puncture wound. Could have been a stabbing, but it also could develop into something else. So that's why police aren't confirming two stabbings at this time, just saying a suspicious death and a stabbing. So again, a lot will continue to develop. We don't have any suspect information right now. We don't know if they're 
you know, looking for one suspect, two suspects, the same suspect. So a lot of questions here. We'll continue to check in with police throughout the morning. They are asking anyone in this area to be vigilant. Uh, don't walk with looking down at your phone. Always be aware of your surroundings and report any suspicious activity. And of course, if you saw anything early this morning when or late last night when these crimes were happening, of course, contact Colorado Springs Police right away. Thanks so much for watching.